Well, everyone, <laughs> I just did it. <laughs> and this was a really crappy signal right here. It was like a 36 and it was just coming in. Thoop, 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 thoop. You know, no good tone, but I got, got a couple of, uh, I got a couple of wheat pennies just a second ago. So I went ahead and dug it a little bit worn. See if we can get a year. 17, 1917. It's an old one. Too bad it wasn't a 16. <laughs> I already have some 17s. Let's see if it has a mint mark. It does. It has an S mint mark. Look at that. I think I have an S. I think I'm missing a 17D. But hey, 17S. Mercury Dime for number 175. Excellent. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Well, I was out here for four hours to get number 75. Two minutes later, <laughs> got number 76. Or 176, sorry. And it's a rosy. Looks like it's a 1963. <laughs> D mint mark. <laughs> All right, I'll take two. That's not bad. <laughs> All right, turned a really rough night and disappointing night into a pretty good night. All of a sudden, just like that. It's amazing how your luck can shift so quickly. This spot, I swear, I probably detected, I don't know, a half mile back in and a half mile back out of this park. Come across one spot and in 10 feet, I've gotten three Wheaties. A 1917 Merc and this 63 Rosie. So, nothing's ever hunted out. <laughs> you just gotta find the hot spot. Alright, everyone. This is what I think it is, guys. <laughs> this turned into a ridiculous night. I barely moved 10 feet. Got another Rosie. 1950 this time. <laughs> Badass. Awesome. All right, guys, it's 177. So I went from a disappointing four hours of nothing to now three silvers in a matter of five minutes. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> guys, this is ridiculous. So I had just actually dug a hole right here because I had an iffy signal. It, I got it both ways, but it was just kind of thumping and uh, dug it anyways. And then I couldn't find the target. And I had a pile of dirt off to the side and I just filled it all in. And then was detecting swing right here. Got a really nice signal. <laughs> it was really shallow. <laughs> and I was just trying to check to make sure I didn't do exactly what I did, which was pop it out of the hole. And I got another 63 Rosie. Another 63D. Sweet. You know, I haven't even moved 10 feet. So I'm going to see what else is here. That's number four. This is ridiculous. Hey everybody, here's the wrap up from tonight's hunt. I got out after work and just stopped off at the nearest pounded out park. Um, I was going to drive up to the one that we've been all hunting lately, but uh, I decided to just hit the closest one in the hopes that, you know, I just needed one more to get to 175. So I was hoping to hit the pounded out park and pull one more. And for the first three hours, I struggled. <laughs> Actually, for about three and a half hours. I got there at about 5.30 and uh, hunted and hunted and hunted. And then about quarter after nine, right when I was about to give up, I had uh, came across some of these wheat pennies down here and kept hunting, pulled another wheat penny, kept hunting, came across a real iffy, iffy signal. And uh, you saw what I got. <laughs> I just showed you some of those signals. So, yeah, I got this Merc on a real iffy. It was not what you would expect to have. It sounded more like a, an Indian on its side than a Merc, but that's what it was. Uh, but here I'll go through quickly. It looks like I got, I don't know, one, two, like about a buck fifty or so in clad. 
got four different wheat pennies and I'm not sure if I can get all the years off of these yet I haven't really cleaned them up very well I think they were 40 48 uh, 26 maybe probably a 44 found a bullet here too <laughs> for a fortune if it would still fire <laughs> uh, I'm not sure it looks like it I'm sure it was somebody it misfired but it's a short one I don't see them this short anymore finds of the night so I just told you about this one the 1917 this is number 175 for me 1917s mercury dime Glad to have it. I was hoping for a 16. I saw that it was kind of worn and I was like, ooh, it's going to be a teens. And uh, I saw the 17 and I was like, oh, so close. <laughs> After I pulled that, I think it was, well, it was one of these two. I don't know, the twins up here. Both of these are 1963 Rosies. Both have D mint marks. One of them was the second silver one of them was the fourth silver i got tonight and in between there i pulled this 1950 philadelphia so i know uh i know you guys are probably sick of seeing rosies <laughs> in my videos i got a ton of rosies but hey you know at least i got that 17 mark the 17 s you don't see those every day so one interesting find and then the other three are still silver which puts me at 178 so i got my goal and then blew past it in a heck of a hurry i got these all from about 10 feet of one another and uh probably within about 15 to 20 minutes total to dig all of all four of them so pretty awesome end of the night i was out of there at 9 30 and at 9 15 i didn't really have anything so it was pretty awesome. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching, and happy hunting.